Well, disappointed, uh, obviously, in the outcome last week. Thought our guys that you know played really a great effort and, and kept playing all four quarters, gave herself a chance there in the end. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, too many turnovers, penalties, uh, too sloppiness for a first game to, to beat a good Eastern Michigan team. And so uh, a lot to build on. Uh, actually, currently right now we're, we're uh, in evacuation orders for the uh, Hurricanes. We're driving towards uh, uh, Greenville, South Carolina, as we take our team up there to prepare for Kansas uh, this coming week. Thank you, Coach. Um, I mean, with that evacuation, I mean, would you mind just kind of, you know, how does that alter – your game planning and, and preparation for this weekend's contest? Well, unfortunately, you know, we're, we're sort of used to it because we had to do it last year. So um, it makes your, it makes your game planning uh, more difficult because you're on the, you're on the road more. Now you're going to uh, some different places as far as practice wise, you got more travel time. So uh, your, the efficiency part of it makes it harder. But as far as, uh, you know, doing the job or getting the things done, you need to get done. We'll figure that out. More so, it's just taking taking your players out of the routine. Now you're in a different routine. You work hard to get them in a routine. Now they're out of it. And so how we adjust to that, them being the first time on the road, you know, that's the biggest uh, uh, difference when you have to evacuate. That's the biggest challenge, in my opinion. Um, if you wouldn't mind, Coach, could you give us a little scouting report on Kansas? Well, obviously, Coach, you know, Coach Miles is bringing a different uh, mindset and mentality there. Uh, they've got some quality players, you know, that uh, he inherited. Uh, they're trying to uh, be a mix, I believe, between a Big 12 team, you know, throwing it around RPO, and, but then also his SEC days trying to line up and do some things, being a physical tough. So he's got them really playing confident, believing they get their starting running back back for this game. He was a great player for them last year. So a uh, big challenge for us, you know. it's uh, 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 We'll really see uh, how much improvement we can make from one to two. They're, obviously, they're a better team than Eastern Michigan. Um, I do I do think we can do some things to help us give us a chance to win the game if we can clean up our things. But looking forward to the challenge. Um, you know, I'm not sure if you're aware or not, Piscardi was named uh, Special Teams Player of the Week uh, for the Sun Belt Conference. Just, you know, could you, would you mind talking a little bit about him? Yeah, you know, he, he, he had a great year last year and, and was uh, was solid uh, Saturday. You know, made the 53-yarder, which tied a school record, which was a big kick at the time. And he steadily improved uh, throughout – the off season and, and, uh, and, and into the beginning of the year here. Um, thankful that he, re, you know, received that. That's a good honor for him. He's got to continue to work on, you know, some consistency there. Had a, had a good game, but, you know, we missed one there when we really needed one too. So that's what I challenged him on is, is, uh, is continue to get better. But uh, he's somebody we're going to have to count on when we get in, you know, down there in field goal range to continue to put them through the uprights. Coach, thank you so much for joining us today and, and safe travels to you and to the team. Um, and all the families affected, um, you know, by this storm. So uh, we're all thinking about you, and, and please be safe. Thank you all very much.